Trump says states should chart their own path on abortion. This is the reason why this is a big story is because 2024 election, this will be one of the top five issues for this topic. Is this the video, Rob? Go ahead and play it, please. Many people have asked me what my position is on abortion and abortion rights, especially since I was proudly the person responsible for the ending of something that all legal scholars, both sides, wanted and, in fact, demanded be ended. Roe v. Wade. They wanted it ended. It must be remembered that the Democrats are the radical ones on this position because they support abortion up to and even beyond the ninth month. The concept of having an abortion in the later months and even execution after birth, and that's exactly what it is, the baby is born, the baby is executed after birth, is unacceptable, and almost everyone agrees with that. There you go. That's his position. Let me read this a little bit more. Trump said on Saturday that he welcomed the prospect of going to jail for, uh, uh, that's a different story. For President Trump said abortion should be left to the states, avoiding taking a position on the number of weeks at which the procedure should be banned as he tries to navigate an issue that has animated Democrats. Uh, He explained that in the video, Trump's stance is unlikely to please religious conservatives who want him to embrace tougher restrictions and one prominent group quickly express its disappointment. So obviously you're not gonna be able to please everybody, but he did give his position on where he stands with us. Tom, your thoughts on this? Well, first of all, um, I think you know I stand. Um, you know, I, I believe I believe we should protect life. And when you start making laws around it, you better be careful because there is a slippery slope that's there. Once you create a law and you put it in the hands of the government, you allow them to wield it, to amend it, and to change it, which is what happens. Just ask the Netherlands. So number one. I'm pretty clear on my stance, you know, around uh, you know, life and the preciousness of life. The second part is he is taking a very constitutional position, saying the states decide state things and allowing each state and the will of the people to vote on that. So he makes a clear position on abortion, but then he turns around later and points out, not differently, so it's not a but, he's like, the will of the people, the states will decide. And guess what? That's the way our Constitution's written. By the way, this is going to be, you know, navigating through complex issues, a skill set most people don't have. And this is a very, very complex and sensitive issue. If you don't navigate through this in a sensitive fashion, you could you could also lose some of the conservative women mm-hmm. votes that you're going to need. You have to share what you believe in, but do it in a way where it's sens- sensible and respecting the other side. And at the same time, showing that you have certain values and principles that you're not willing to compromise and knowing that no matter what position you take, you're going to be criticized. But some group and you have to understand that comes with the territory. There is nothing, there is not a single position you can take when it comes down to the topic of abortion that you're going to get 100% support. Nothing. Whatever you take, take a position, be sensible about it, be respectful about it, and then navigate through the questions that he's going to get in the debates, in the interviews, when he starts going through campaigning. This this will be a top three, top five issue in 2024 election. Adam. Yeah, well, I'll tell you this. This is a complete losing issue for Republicans especially amongst women. And the way that he just said, look, I'm in, I'm out, easy, simple, leave it up to the states, let them deal with it. That's the best thing that Trump can do. Don't get bogged down on this issue. Uh, when I was interviewing all the women at Model Volleyball, <clears throat> I asked them, what's the most important issue to you? We were well, interviewing what, you, you, I think you, you need to be specific. When you interviewed all the men and women at Model That's Volleyball, true. but go Let's keep going. Be honest. Was, yeah. yep. 99 women, one trans woman, but uh, Frank. I asked them what their number <laughs> one issue was. Yeah. I mean, the number one issue in the uh, country right now is immigration, the border, everything that's going on there. Inflation is out there. Uh, Everything that's going on, the culture wars, uh, debt, gun rights, everything. To women, this was their number one issue. In fact, nationally, one in eight people in America, this is their number one issue. And the vast majority of them are women. So Trump has to win the soccer moms, the independents, the movable middle in order to win this election, especially in the Midwest. 
This is a losing issue for for Republicans. And the way if Trump just has to delicately deal with this, get in, get out, don't make this the issue that loses the election. By the way, Democrats in 2007, 63 percent of Democrats said that this was their top uh, for women Mm -hmm. uh, believed in the legality of abortion. That's now up to 80 percent. Republicans have stayed steady at 39 to 38, so that hasn't moved much. This is a major, major issue Me- for women. Meanwhile, don't get involved in it. Trump. Meanwhile, so if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.